wichtige Produktentwicklung. Looking at the way products are developed nowadays, it can be seen that construction, mechatronics and production are very closely linked, but are usually taught as separate subjects. We try to integrate these into a single course so that students can start with their own ideas, make designs of them and integrate a mechatronics kit in order to actuate their systems and produce and test the system themselves. This links the three areas, which is what makes this course so unique. The Innovation Project is an event that we hold here at ETH Zurich with 450 to 500 students. It is a development activity where students can turn their concepts into a reality and develop a tangible product. It is also a team exercise. The students don't work on their own, but in teams of four or five. I believe that the Innovation Project provides students with two major learning goals. Firstly, the students must work together in groups for the first time, so they learn about group dynamics. Secondly, they build a mechatronic system. They're working for the first time with mechatronic elements, sensors, actuators. They're using them and realizing a project at the same time. While we provide them with theoretical principles, they also gain practical experience as part of the Innovation Project, an unbeatable combination. My expectations regarding the project were that the team would work well together and, above all, that we would learn how to plan a project from start to finish. That is to say, coming up with an idea, a certain problem to solve and then, of course, ending up with a fully functioning system. The biggest challenge for me was working with others to find a solution that all the team members could get behind, with everybody giving other people's suggestions a chance, listening to them and then together developing a solution that everyone could agree upon. To develop a product as an engineer, where a real physical product is produced at the end, it is extremely important that you have an idea, an understanding of how things, systems and components are produced. For this reason, our students already had access this semester to four laser cutters, nine FDM 3D printers and a workshop with a total of 15 workstations equipped with drills, small lathes, saws and various tools where they can gain experience of using them, creating something themselves. I believe that this experience is vital. I'm a PTZ coach, firstly, so I can pass on the experience I've acquired at ETH to new students, and secondly, so I can gain new skills in terms of project management and mentoring. I believe that all teams need a coach to help them, primarily if they encounter problems, who can talk to them in a systematic way about such problems and try to find a solution, someone who can provide an outside point of view. But I find that many teams have the motivation themselves to build a system thanks to their enthusiasm and ability. During the innovation project, we learned that all ideas take more time to implement than we initially thought, and that teamwork is a major element in such projects, albeit not necessarily the easiest. During the innovation project, we were surprised at the difference between what you design and then what actually gets assembled. The design process was actually really good in our team, but subsequently, during the assembly process, it turned out that what we had made couldn't be assembled in the way we thought. I think the main thing I learned during the project is that you have to start off developing little ideas and building more simple systems that you can improve later on. It's important not to start out aiming for something really big and difficult and then subsequently fail. Instead you have to wait until you have a working, simple system before optimizing it later on.